All right, so we talked about the three vectors of value. And now what I'd like to do is take a little walk through the history of video surveillance and show how the technologies as they evolved contributed to adding value to video surveillance. So we had something called CCTV. And CCTV was a fairly simple thing. Technically, we talked about, uh, we talk about a lens and a sensor. So light is focused on a sensor. And that sensor signal is converted to a signal that can be transmitted on a cable, like a coax cable, for example, to a monitor so that a security guard can watch what's going on at the camera end, and a recorder. And those are the basic elements of your CCTV system. And we can see how each of those maps into the value space. So the monitor provides awareness, and the recorder provides evidence, and the camera, comprised of the lens and sensor and electronics, its visible presence affects human behavior. All right, then along comes IP. IP, Internet Protocol, it changed everything in video surveillance. It was introduced maybe less than 20 years ago and has been gaining traction in the last 10. IP is more complicated technically than CCTV. And because of that, it was necessary for vendors to start to work together to come up with standards. And so ONVIF, the Open Network Video Interface Forum, was born when several of the major vendors said, you know what, we need to standardize so that system integrators and customers are not confused and they can expect our equipment to work together. So what kind of value did IP offer that simpler CCTV didn't? Was it worth the additional complexity? Well, signals, instead of just being signals constrained to, say, the PAL or NTSC standard, now became packet data. And packet data is the way that information moves around the internet. So it meant that data was no longer constrained to just a point-to-point -point unidirectional flow. It could be sent anywhere. And the network uh, could be grown into many thousands of cameras. The sensor didn't have to correspond to that constraining signal, PAL or NTSC. And so the sensors could now become high definition. And we're seeing even ultra high definition cameras today with amazing image quality that could never have been achieved with CCTV. Monitors were replaced by software, which we've called video management systems. And recorders were replaced with network attached storage. It was just data being stored in the way that any data is stored on a computer network. So there's nothing special anymore about the recorder. And these changes in the technology have had a profound impact on the value space. In every direction, the value of surveillance technology has increased considerably. And we can see that in the market. We can see that the dollar value spent per year on video surveillance systems has increased and continues to increase. And much of that is because of IP technology and vendors getting together through organizations like ONVIF to make it work. Now, I believe that the next big watershed in surveillance technology will be the cloud. And in the next segment, I'll explain why I think so.